What's up everybody, it's Randall. We're here at Mod Effects, and today we're gonna to be installing a LED headlight kit on a 2015 Scat Pack Dodge Charger. As you can see, most factory chargers are gonna come with the halogen bulbs inside the headlights. And so you get the almond color, you know, it's not uh, gonna match your DRLs and it leaves much to be desired. So what we're gonna do, we have a Fusion F4 headlight LED kit from Flash Tech. We're gonna give it a shot. They say they've had pretty good results with this kit. And so, let's see how they do. So we're gonna do a quick unboxing and show you what you get when you order this item. And it's pretty much plug and play. So, you get two bulbs. You notice they don't have a fan. Some of the earlier bulbs actually had a fan that were on the back of the bulbs. This is a fanless design. You have a red heat sink. Adds a nice color. You'll never see them once they're in the headlights, but it does as a nice touch. And you have an LED on both sides. And so instead of having just one side with the LED, you have two sides with the CLB LED chips in there. The kit's advertised as 4,000 lumens, which means you'll have 2,000 lumens per bulb. And so let's see how bright they end up being inside the headlights. This particular car takes a 9005 bulb, and so that's what we went with with this headlight kit. So we're going to put our bulbs right here. Uh, the main thing you want to look at is the, the standard headlight connector. So when you plug it in, you want to make sure you plug it in the right way. If for some reason you get it in there and it's not working, all you have to do is reverse it and it will power right up. First step you want to do is remove the cap on the back of your headlight. So if it's hard to remove, you just have to give it a little pressure, but we're going to pull the caps off. Now the main difference when you go with the LED kit is that you don't have to drill through this cap. When you do HIDs, you actually have the bulb that sits in front of it. You have to punch through, run your connector out, and that's how you plug it up to the relay harness. In this case, everything is going to sit inside the cap, and so it's completely plug and play, reversible. Um, pretty much the easiest installation that you'll get for this type of mod for your vehicle. So now we're going to remove your halogen LED bulb, twist out unclip it. Here goes your factory bulb. So you can see the socket is pretty much the same. Um, dimensions are, are comparable, just different different technology. And so we're going to go out with the old in with the new. And we're going to plug up our LED bulb. So we have our bulb plugged up. And the main thing you want to do is cut it on and make sure you don't have a, make sure you don't have any issues with the functionality of the bulb. So we're going to make sure it works before we put the car back together. No action. <laughs> Got it. <he>. Got it. <he. laughs> no so, as you can see, we don't have any action, and so. We're going to reverse the bulb and see if that's going to solve the Ready? problem. Yes, sir. Are you all the way on? I'm all the way on. Really, nigga? Two hours later. There, there we go. So in our case, we did have to reverse the bulb. You know, hold it away from you because it is bright. You don't want to stare into the bulb. But once you know it works, you can cut it back off. And uh, we'll go ahead and reinstall it back into the headlights. It's kind of hard to see in there, so you really have to get a feel for where the opening is. But once you do one side, the second side will be much easier. And you'll be able to get in and get out. And so, make sure you have all your tabs aligned where you can lock the bulb in, that way the bulb doesn't move while you're driving the car. And so in this case, we do have everything lined up like it needs to be. You know, just double checking, making sure we're good. 
and all you have to do from this point is tuck the wire inside the headlight, reinstall your cap. You want to make sure your cap is installed straight. The cap has an O-ring on here and the O-ring prevents any moisture from getting in your headlight. Once you get moisture in your headlight, it'll make them look ugly, get all cloudy and stuff. So definitely make sure you have your caps on straight. Spend a little extra time here. It'll save you a lot of headache in the future. And uh, that's pretty much it. You know, once you get the cap fully flat, you know, you want to tighten it up as much as you can. And once you feel it lock, you know you're good to go. And that's it. And so we'll cut it on and we'll see what our results are. All right, so we just installed the passenger side headlight bulb. And so as you can see here, we have the LED, which is a perfect match for the DRLs. You know, it's right about that 5,000K in between that 5,000 and 6,000K color, which gives it a nice white crisp look. Um, let's cut off our ambient lighting that we have here so you get the full effect of kind of how bright they are. And then if we look at the driver's side, you'll be able to see the difference or the comparison of how the halogen bulbs look in comparison to the LEDs. So as you can see right here, we have our halogen bulb does not match the factory DRLs. You know, a lot of people, they ride around with the headlights off and the DRLs on at nighttime. That's definitely a big no-no. You know, it's definitely worth the investment whether you get an LED kit or get an HID kit. You don't want to drive around like this because you really can't see anything. Even with the fog lights, they're not designed to drive with. And so, um, let's go ahead and get this other headlights propped out and we'll be good to go. All right, so we finished the installation on Patrick's 2015 Dodge Charger. It was a scat pack, so it, like we said, it came with the halogen bulbs. We went ahead and upgraded to an LED kit. And so a question that we have, and that a lot of people have, they want to know, is an LED kit comparable to an HID kit? We're going to put it on Patrick's car, we're going to let him drive around with it, and then we'll see what he has to say after actually having some real world experience with this flash tech uh, LED kit that we put on this vehicle. So Patrick, cut it on for us one more time. And, uh, you know, like we said, you know, we have a perfect match between the DRLs and LEDs. Uh, fog lights, cut the fog lights on. Crank it up. So the fog lights match as well. So, he's pretty much good to go. So, we'll see how it goes from here. We'll see y'all soon.